Oh, hey, hey there, elites. How you doing? It's me, your boy, President Joe Biden here. Welcome to another Minecraft video. The 20W45A snapshot added a lot. It was a pretty big snapshot. I mean, we're talking tinted glass, candles, copper, amethyst, and even more. Today, amethyst is going to be the focus. Amethyst is a really, really cool resource that's coming to Minecraft in the 1.17 update. Today we're going to break down everything that there is to know about one of Minecraft's newest resources. If you enjoy this one, smash that like button. Like goal, 10k likes. We can do it, elites. Subscribe too. Subscribe goal, 1 million subscribers. Let's, Let's go. go. And finally, what other 1.70 features would you like me to break down in a video just like this one? Let me know down below. This video is being recorded, and the information is up to date as of the 20W45A snapshot. Keep in mind that we are very, very early on in the cave update life cycle, which means things could definitely change. In fact, things will probably most definitely be changed, or at least added. If that happens, I'll go ahead and leave a pinned comment down below, and I can maybe even make another video like this one later on down the line. When talking about amethyst, we should definitely start with the amethyst geodes. To get amethyst, you're going to need to go down under the ground. Now where under the ground? Well, uh, thankfully, you can pretty much go anywhere. Amethyst geodes, these things right over here, can generate anywhere from sea level to bedrock, so there's quite a range. Now that generation definitely, maybe, might end up getting changed later on. But anyways, for today, this is an amethyst geode right here. An amethyst geode is made up of a couple different things. First off, right off the bat, we have tough. Then we have calcite. Then finally, in the inside, we have the good stuff. We have amethyst block, amethyst clusters, and a tiny, tiny bit of budding amethyst in here as well. Now, because tough and calcite aren't actually amethyst, we won't be talking about them very much today. But what we do know about them, basically just blocks. Extra blocks in the game that don't do too much quite yet. They do be looking pretty good though. But anyways, today, let's actually go ahead and start with this block right here. The first amethyst-related block that we'll be taking a look at in today's video is none other than the amethyst block itself. This block right here. Now, the amethyst block does generate an amethyst geodes, but it's also craftable. To craft an amethyst block, you're going to need four amethyst shards. Grab some amethyst shards, head over to a crafting table somewhere, place them in the crafting table just like that, and then boom, one block. Four shards turn into one block. That's actually not all that expensive. No, we'll come back to the amethyst shard. We'll talk about that a little bit more later. For now, amethyst block. The amethyst block is a really, really nice looking block in my opinion. I mean, check out this texture. Now, sorry to say, but the amethyst block itself isn't all that interesting, actually. The coolest thing about the amethyst block by far, other than maybe the texture, is the sounds that it makes when it's walked on, hit with a particle, or placed. You hear that? Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. It's music. So check this out, listen. Mm-hmm, the music, it's beautiful. It's quiet, but it's beautiful. When it comes to building, I think amethyst blocks will fit in amazingly in some sort of enchanting setup in the 1.17 update. Finally, to mine the amethyst block, you'll need at least an iron pickaxe. Iron pickaxe are better, and you'll be able to pick the block up. Anything worse, then you get nothing. Next on the list is this block right here. Now this block looks very, very similar to the last block, but it's actually really, really different. This block right here is budding amethyst. So check this out. This is the amethyst block, that's the budding amethyst block. The difference here is the crack or the darker part of the middle of the budding amethyst block, aside from the mechanics, because the mechanics are crazy, crazy different. So uh, first let's talk obtaining in survival. The budding amethyst block will generate in your world as part of amethyst geodes. If you want to pick this block up, well, uh, bad news for you because you actually can't. Silk touch, it's not going to work. Uh, efficiency, obviously not going to work. And finally, fortune, yep, that doesn't work either. You cannot pick this block up in survival. Another thing that you can't do, uh, move it. You actually cannot move this block in survival with pistons. Check this out. It breaks instantly. Definitely not good. Now, if you're trying to cheat the system and you think maybe you could pull it with a Ziggy Piston, well, uh, bad news for you because that does not work either. This block cannot be moved in any way by pistons and you cannot pick it up in survival. There's literally no way to get it in survival, but of course you can find it in survival. Again, back to the amethyst geode. Right in this geode, we have a couple blocks of budding amethyst. So what is the point of this block if you can't get it in survival? Well, that's actually pretty straightforward. The point of the budding amethyst block is to create amethyst clusters. That's right, the budding amethyst block is almost like a, it's almost like a seed. 
If your plan is to get large amounts of amethyst in survival Minecraft and use them for things, maybe you're trying to craft a spyglass, maybe you're just trying to do amethyst things, well, then you're going to need to find a budding amethyst and farm the amethyst clusters that grow on this block. Amethyst clusters can actually grow on any side of the budding amethyst block. So that means top, bottom, side, yep, any side of the budding amethyst block is game for growth. According to the Minecraft wiki, as of the 20w45a snapshot, each time the budding amethyst block receives a random tick, the chance is similar to cocoa pod growth, with the budding amethyst block having a 20% chance of creating amethyst clusters on any of its sides. In a shorter, simpler terms, the chance of a new amethyst cluster appearing on a budding amethyst block is about the same chance that a cocoa pod has to grow up into its next stage. The budding amethyst block grows more amethyst. That means this block is very, very important. Now, let's talk about amethyst itself. So, over here, we have four different things. Three of them are amethyst buds, one of them is an amethyst cluster. Right here, we have a small amethyst bud, then a medium amethyst bud, then a large amethyst bud, and finally, an amethyst cluster. So amethyst is an interesting resource, it actually grows. When it starts growing, it'll be small, then it'll get a little bit bigger, then a little bit bigger, and then finally, the harvestable amethyst. This is quite literally, almost like a farmable crop in Minecraft. So, right here, the amethyst cluster. If we move up to this thing and mine it with an iron pickaxe or better, we are going to get four amethyst shards unless unless of course fortune actually works so check this out fortune right here for some reason it doesn't seem too reliable sometimes it doesn't work but this time i'm actually getting it to work right there eight shards then 12 shards mm -hmm. fortune is definitely the way 16 now this is crazy this is literally crazy check this out okay 12. I'm actually pretty excited that never worked out like that before. That's kind of crazy. So anyways, Amethyst Cluster. If you mine this with a normal pickaxe, or at least let's say relatively normal, just efficiency, you will always get four Amethyst Shards. If you mine it with Fortune, you can get more. If you mine it with Silk Touch, predictably, you will actually get the thing itself. Now, these buds, what happens if we mine these things? Well, if we mine these things, we are going to be disappointed because nothing really happens, unfortunately. Now, according to the 20w45a changelog, you will be able to still touch these things and place them back down, but it doesn't seem to work. It can be assumed that if you pick up an amethyst bud and you place it down, it'll sort of just be decorative. It won't probably do much, unless, of course, you place it on a budding amethyst block. If you place the stuff back down on a budding amethyst block, presumably, the stuff will continue to grow again. But unfortunately, again, that's something that we can't really test out right now, because it doesn't really work. The big thing to know here, though, amethyst clusters are the harvestable ones. You'll need at least an iron pickaxe or better to mine any of these blocks, and maybe some enchantments, depending on what you're trying to do. Fortune is going to be by far the best option when it comes to mining amethyst. I mean, you saw it yourself. 16 shards from a single amethyst cluster? That is literally crazy. Now, another interesting thing about these things. Let's go ahead and flip it over to, let's say, maybe midnight. It'll get really, really dark. But check this out. The amethyst buds and the cluster actually give off light. A small amethyst bud has a light level of one. It's very, very dim, but it's there. Check the light level, one on the block, zero over here, one right there, zero over here. So light level one. The medium amethyst cluster has a light level of two. That's a little brighter. Right here, zero, and then or one, right, zero over here, and then two right there. The large amethyst bud has a light level of four, getting even brighter here. And then finally, the amethyst cluster, again, the harvestable one, has a light level of five right there. So the light level goes one, two, four, five. Completely skips three. Poor three. Ah, uh, last but not least, the amethyst shard, the actual item itself. The amethyst shard is a crafting item, but it does look really, really good. I mean, throw this thing in an item frame. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's pretty fresh looking. Sort of like the arrow, the amethyst shard would be really, really good when put in an item frame for some sort of directional pointer. I mean, check this out. It's clearly pointing that way, pointing down, mm-hmm. Yep, you get the point, just like an arrow. But crafting, the amethyst shard is used currently to craft three things. Thing number one, we've already talked about it, the amethyst block. Thing number two actually involves glass and it's really, really cool. 
Four amethyst shard and a single piece of clear unstained glass and a crafting table, just like this, creates two tinted glass blocks. Now, because tinted glass is an amethyst, we're not going to talk about it that much, but tinted glass is basically glass that doesn't let light through. It's really, really cool. And finally, to craft the third thing that amethyst is used for right now, you will need two copper ingots and one amethyst shard. Place them in the crafting table just like that, and then boom, spyglass. With the spyglass, you can see so far. So, so far. It's amazing. Also, if you press F1 when you're using the spyglass, boom, you get a wide viewing angle. I'm still zoomed in. Pretty cool. And so, that is Amethyst, but wait, there's one final thing. So, uh, like I mentioned when showing off the Amethyst block, when you walk on any of this stuff, it creates noise, so check this out. Mm-hmm. You can hear it, it's faint, but you can hear it. Noise coming from all of these things when I walk on them. And walking isn't where it ends. Check this out. We throw the snowball. Yep, it works too. It is actually a little bit louder. And to do this, you don't only need snowballs too. Maybe I have my trusty bow. Well, a bow would absolutely work as well for creating the amazing, amazing amethyst sounds. And finally, 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 almost forgot here. That would not have been very gamer of me. We have one final cool thing about the amethyst. So check this out. Small amethyst, medium, large cluster. If we dump water in here and then water over here and then water over here, here, and maybe there too. Yep, check it out. They all can be waterlogged. And you see that one that's on the side of the block? It can be waterlogged too. That's right, all amethyst buds and clusters can be waterlogged. And this, in my opinion, is actually really, really cool. I seriously love when Mojang adds something that's smaller than a block and actually makes it waterloggable too. Just makes sense. And so, as of right now, 20W45A, that is Amethyst. What do you think? What's one more use that you think Amethyst would be amazing for? Amethyst Trident? Amethyst Armor? Eh, maybe not. Let me know your thoughts down below. Today, big shout out to my patrons, Reitman and Cy Fireman. Thank you so much for the support, and thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Also, subscribe. It's been me, your Waddly Boy. Until next time, stay fresh. Goodbye, everyone.